All right, 96.9 Cool FM. We are officially in the Cool Nigerian Vibes Hour. And that was sweet, sweet music by DJ called Baby. So when the song starts, at first I'm like, oh, man, it could be in Lion King, <laughs> you know, with the response going on um, in the background. And then it turns into something else entirely. It's just beautiful music. And um, we absolutely love that one, right? So, yes, you're listening to your cool station. It's the Media Oasis with D-O to the T-U-N and myself, Kemi Smalls. Um, this is the hour where we just check out Strictly Nigerian music all the way till 1 p.m. And we have a very beautiful guest in the studio with us. Her name is Deja. Check your check your check your Yeah. I need to get my radio voice on. I need to get my radio voice on. <laughs> oh my goodness. What's it's up, so everybody? good. It's your girl, D to the I to the J to the A. I'm here with Kemi Smalls. Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so good to have you here, DJ. Thank it's you, been Kim. such it, a it long long time I know, man. Uh, uh, i've been hearing that a lot yo, like so yes <laughs> let's even start with that let's start with that what what has been happening with you wow okay what has been happening i got two kids yes <laughs> that is that <laughs> beautiful kids yes i have a boy and a girl now kita and amana um honestly i've been working on music and just trying to you know have balance mm-hmm. you know and just just get to know myself now as a mom like being a mom now is so different Mm -hmm. um it's not really about you anymore Mm -hmm. (laughs) so for me but my kids love music Mm -hmm. so they make it a lot easier for me to actually create even at home because Mm -hmm. yeah you know maybe not the way you do your drums but (laughs) it's very noisy and everything Mm -hmm. right now but um honestly it's just been creating new music um you know like with maven we've been trying to figure out i guess everybody has been trying to figure out what's the sound what, what yeah there's that with, conversation my sound is is beautiful music mm-hmm. <laughs> and then um it was more or less uh, i'm just really just i was trying to grow i didn't want to just release anything where um i didn't i guess how, how should i put it i needed to expand mm-hmm. i needed to sort of stop being too comfortable with myself i'm mm-hmm. very very comfortable mm-hmm. um, i always say uh, like this one i still from too i'm a creature of habit mm-hmm. you know and um, i needed to get out of routine and my kids helped me do that like okay. <laughs> they helped me do that so it's just been honestly it's just been trying to you know create new music um like i said being a mom you can't think of anything else but music and your mm-hmm. kids <laughs> And my husband has been so amazing in supporting and in everything that we're doing, my family as well. So it's just been trying to find a balance, really. Yeah, and it's interesting because people always make the same conversations. They always make it seem like you can't do both. It's no, like, oh, you can do anything you want to uh-huh. do, honestly. And it's not, you know, no matter, I always when people say, oh, I multitask, I'm like, I don't know if that really happens. I think we do one thing at a time, but just all at the same time. Mm-hmm. Um, so... You just do it. You mm-hmm. just wake up in the morning and you do it. There's really no plan. I mean, mm-hmm. shout out to every mom out there. To be oh honest, working mom. I can imagine. Or anyone even I caring can imagine. for a child. You know, I mean, because I, I don't have a, a child, but yeah, like, but I have well, yeah, you have four ones. younger ones. Uh-huh. I have a sister that's 12 years that's old. Said, anyone that is See, caring for anybody. <laughs> <laughs> shout out like, to you guys. <laughs> it's so much, you know, no, sometimes. And yeah. then now you have like kids that are your kids that you can't run away no you know, run can away. I escape? No, but, so, but honestly my kid one thing my kids have taught me is i grew up pretty fast like i grew up my brain there's too many things i don't take personal because you can't really be taking mm-hmm. anything you know it just it changes your mindset in for me in a great way mm-hmm. um like i'm telling you it's not easy or anything but it's like it's selfless. Mm-hmm. It's very, very selfless. You know, you're not thinking, ah, this one is disturbing me. Like mm-hmm. I told someone, I can't say my kids are disturbing me because I brought them here. Yeah, <laughs> they didn't ask to be here. <laughs> <laughs> <They> brought, <laughs> we, we brought them here, but they, for me, is their health and their health is, you know, for us really, uh, their health is crazy. And once they're healthy, then no shaking. And my mom is in town right now, so no shaking. So you, uh, that, you're, that's why I, I know some there. They point out. Yeah, chilling. <laughs> <laughs> but I, but yeah. I do have amazing women that also help me too. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I shout out to Kid. Anyone that is caring, like I said, anyone that's caring for anyone, anyone. out there or helping moms mm-hmm. out there or helping families because 
I mean, it's very hard to trust people, mm-hmm. especially like I'm not necessarily from Lagos. So mm-hmm. coming to Lagos and having a whole new set of mm-hmm. family, a whole new set of people. Well, you know, say family there everywhere. We will be nomads. We they move everywhere. So, so we have family, have family everywhere. If not, you make new ones. Mm-hmm. But I've been, but even my friends have been so supportive. Sometimes I say, oh, okay, if, if maybe your nanny's not around, okay, don't worry, I'll come and chill. Mm-hmm. If you have to really go for this. And then my cousin now is doing NYSC. I'm like, I better come and stay in my Help house. and just be there. So um, yeah, I've been very grateful. But, but yeah, um, um, it, it's it, at any point in time did you have like some form of like apprehension considering like if you are silent for a bit your fans you know they'll be worried where is DJ um, and then you have to start from like square one honestly to be honest with you from me no from other people yes mm-hmm. um, you get the nervousness of like uh, how it could be now when you don't but my fans have held me down through not releasing music because we've been doing other things I mean I've been running I Change Foundation with my family as well. I've been doing so many things across Nigeria. Mm-hmm. I've been working on the mental health issues, okay. uh, mental health awareness. Okay. Um, I've also been working with Auntie Betty Yarabo. Okay. Um, we've been doing so many different things on trying to promote mental wellness. So even though I may or may not have necessarily been in the music scene, mm-hmm. I've been in the scene in terms of trying for social, you know, social well- wellness and, and mm-hmm. trying to really push for things but yes I'm the nervousness came from outside as opposed to be from myself mm-hmm. because honestly I have amazing fans I have they send me DMs they send me messages they send me saying ah how far now or do all the way from north yeah ne DJ meaning they make a farua somebody say oh is it too hard is it hard being a mom it's, it's not really that it was just I feel like there's time for everything mm-hmm. And for me, the way I've just organized myself is just it's now just seemed like the <laughs> the time. But we've been creating a lot of this. Some of the songs have we created a while back. Mm-hmm. It's just timing. You don't want a situation where, you know, my last EP, mm-hmm. I literally dropped my EP and then I went to give birth. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I didn't really promote my EP. Yeah. I really push it. Um, so it was just more or less I learned about more about the industry during this time mm-hmm. and I felt trying to rush and fill up the gap maybe I'll just falter or do mm-hmm. something silly so I, I, I just want to expand I worked with so many different people I met so many talented people in the last few months mm-hmm. so yeah the first half of the year I was kind of quiet but okay. we hope the last half of the year we have it's, more stuff you're making all the noise so you need so to so. Um, <laughs> what, what is real quick let's touch on what is the I Change Foundation I Change Foundation is a foundation my husband and I started okay. which is we uh, basically solely for um, the wellness of children okay. um, but it wasn't only about oh just trying to pay for hospital bills or certain things even though that's inclusive but it was more or less for mental I feel like a lot of us are so sort of I don't know we Maybe some of our raised in fear or different things or whatever. So it was just more of like changing the narrative in having it's almost like a big brother, big sister kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, so we've been working uh, with a lot of doctors and hospitals outside in Luth and Lasso as well. Mm-hmm. And then um, we also have an amazing doctor in Reddington that brings a lot of cases where um, parents, uh, you know, in very low income homes can't necessarily afford to take care of their kids. There's so many kids going through so many things mm-hmm. at the moment. So we've been taking care of that. Um, I change found it's basically I change foundation is changing the narrative. Okay. Uh, that's why we call it I change. Um, well, we even have um, a student that pretty much all the way up until he's um, just just started uni now as well so school fees and things like that uh, we've been working so it's children all the way from you know young ages to a development stage if mm-hmm. you can help and assist their family to care for them you do that that's um, great yes. um, also injured kids like uh, the other day we've been having this whole tipper you know this trailer problem mm-hmm. and whatnot. one of my kids that is in um, the I hate this name though but it's called the destitute home in mm-hmm. Epitemata and a trailer fell on his legs and he's lost his legs. This is somebody that was playing f- uh, football like three weeks ago, you know. And so with that, things like oh that. No. So, yes, it's just been a lot of, um, I change is just ne- necessarily just, but we're starting with kids because I feel sometimes like with, not that we've lost, you know, some of our mm-hmm. adults or anything, but the time where it's, we could have done better, we've passed. So mm-hmm. it's better to start with the young ones. Mm-hmm. So hopefully they can change the narrative later. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm all for it. Yes, it's empowering. I'm all for it's it um, that I'm all for people just doing the little that they can, yes. how they can. You know, it doesn't necessarily have to be in the large things. So yeah, good job. Oh no, there's uh, so on many that people. One. Even the lady, the Agatha lady that has been working, like she's the one that told me about, you know, the home in mm-hmm. Ebutemeta, and she was just like, I just think we need to include 
and it has its inclusiveness we bring kids all the way to you know like upbeat that would never get a chance mm -hmm. to go to upbeat the idea is just including you don't necessarily it's not about even when i was younger it wasn't nobody knew whether you were rich or not yeah you know everyone was together you're just on the road your parents would beat you come back yeah. you say, wrong with you? <laughs> those kind of things so the idea is that is just trying to include you know everybody in the kind of things and enjoyment it's not really only about paying fees and stuff they need to have fun mm -hmm. as kids to stuff. yeah kids need to have fun they need to be reminded that they're kids mm -hmm. you know we have so many kids doing so much adult lifestyle mm -hmm. right now selling things everywhere and we can't all help everybody but the little you can do mm -hmm. and everyone so we always include sometimes i include some of my fans they've come along to mm -hmm. go and do stuff so yeah So Good cry. job. Yeah, you get a shot. I know. I'm, I know. I'm important. I'm trying to be like everybody else. You know, everybody's really doing the little they can so. in in their own capacity. Yeah. All right. So um, let's get back to the music now. In the whole process of like discovering your sound, just trying to figure like your music out and not rushing anything. Um, do you think that you found that now? My sister, you're always searching. Mm -hmm. I'm not lying. And because it's for the fans, mm -hmm. you're you're not really only thinking about yourself, oh, this is what I want to be. Because mm -hmm. it's the fans that are going to eat it up. It's the fans that are going to enjoy it. They're the ones that are going to judge it, etc. But what I needed to do was, first and foremost, I haven't released a song in House I in a while. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Apart from Yara, I actually haven't. Mm -hmm. So I've worked on quite a few things with a producer called T-Clex. Um, and we've just released the first one, Wuta. And it's amazing because... Uh, I, I miss speaking my language, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? I miss sharing, and especially now when it's so tense with like anything happening from the north mm -hmm. and then with everything else. So the idea is music tends to sort of soften the blows for a lot of things. Mm -hmm. It tends to open people's minds to, ah, you know, I, the stereotypes I have about maybe how some people or the stereotypes I have about other people or whatever, they do other things. It's not just, you know, they've just put Hausa people in, in a box. Sex. Yeah, and it's just, it's kind of sad and I'm just really working towards, um, like I said, it's inclusiveness. Mm -hmm. It's just trying, just like most artists that are doing, we have amazing, we have DJ Abba, we have Morel, we have Classic, you mm -hmm. know, we have amazing artists just pushing out and trying to you know push the narrative that you know we have so many artists from the north that can share so many things mm -hmm. um so yes i've been discovering my sound but i feel like i still have a long way to go um but my fans are helping me do that because you can see which ones they like and which mm -hmm. ones they're like oh, well i like this one because it's dj Sha, but i don't know i'm not sure or like, yeah or i like <laughs> this other one or whatever but and i met other people i wasn't only just trying to work with only maven producers mm -hmm. i worked to producers outside of maven as well okay um so that helped a lot okay so are we gonna get a lot more is it something that's gonna be constant with the language in your music um yes you will get that you also get creo you know because i'm also Sierra mm -hmm. Leonean, so i have to put my dad's ah, even so my, my fans are like, i'm like yeah i'm like i include that a lot in my songs so people always think that it's pigeon that i just didn't speak properly mm -hmm. but it's actually creo mm -hmm. <laughs> um so i've been doing that small uh, little by little and this ep actually was supposed to be eight songs Okay. So we divided it. That's what I'm calling the first four. Um, and then we decided. So by by in the next couple of, you know, by next quarter, I'm sure you'll be getting another, another four. four. So, yeah, what so would be the difference? Um, I wouldn't really say there's... Uh, the difference would be that you would... I guess you'd be surprised that you're like loving my music all over again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <I guess. laughs> Because a lot of times, like you said, um, people... I do see fans um, on Twitter and they'll be like... Oh, this one we don't go for a while i hope this one are yeah it's nice so mm -hmm. i hope you know so i've seen all those but i i what i've done is i've also divided some of the house songs so that i'm sending out to you so i've added some more mm -hmm. in there but there's also you know the normal dj ways um I love about mm -hmm. love and um but there's there's a lot more lamba okay because i learned along the way um of what i could use because i was always maybe shy or maybe mm -hmm. not open so i decided to ah, myself i get my own kind of now so oh, just I'm include gonna, it let's, let's include, <laughs> oh let's, join do i don't know then go ask me i'll go explain <laughs> <laughs> all right so let's 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 check out let's check out the music for those of you listening um dj dropped an ep it's a four track ep and it's called dj's ep yeah it's like it's also <laughs> I, i thought i was like dj you didn't even think about it <laughs> so, so it was really a project uh -huh. By dropping it but you know when you put it upload it uh -huh. anything more than one song or two songs is already automatically be an EP mm -hmm. so 
the EP didn't even have like an actual name. Mm-hmm. Um, but it was literally the first four because it was an eight. It was supposed to be a full like eight mm-hmm. projects. I'd done seven the other time, so it was eight. And then when we divided it, I was like, you know what? Let's just put it as a project. Mm-hmm. And then we now the I loved the the um, artwork, the way the name was written mm-hmm. and everything. And we just left it as DJ because it's been a while. DJ has been out, so mm-hmm. I guess you have to have DJ at this your point. Name so we got on we it. Got <laughs> There's no confusion. There. Yeah. <laughs> so I've been hashtagging the first four, but it really is DJ EP. DJ EP. <laughs> All right. So that's what it's called. It's four <laughs> tracks. Um, we already played one of the songs uh, before we came on the radio. That's baby. Yeah. So we're gonna go check out Wuta. I really like this one. What's Wuta? Incense. Yeah, Wuta. Wuta, actually, Wuta means light, fire. Okay. So, yes, you're very close. Mm-hmm. So, you can do, like, in, in Ansamaka, Wuta is, like, fire is gasoline. You're, like, adding. So, I, it, Wuta is not even in the song, mm-hmm. to be honest. This, the name of the song is not even in the song. But it just, the beat was just fire. Mm-hmm. Like, the beat uh, is fire. And I was just like, I can't think of anything else. Mm-hmm. I can't think of anything else. To call. Even at one point, I was like, ah, this Wuta name is confusing. We don't know what to say. I said, you know what? Let's name it. Just Wuta. leave it as And we Wuta. left it as that and it's catching fire. It's I really crazy. like it. It's my favorite <laughs> one on, on the EP. <laughs> so let's go take a listen. It's Wuta by DJ on the Midday Oasis. Here we go. So much. It's Wuta by DJ. You know, it's so interesting. And um, what are you saying? Okay, so the song is is actually like a... It's coming from the part of a girl. So I was talking to her about a beautiful girl. Like, you're too fine to be annoyed, even if they're telling you. So it's almost like me because they were telling you, you never drop pennies, you never drop pennies, you never drop it. Mm-hmm. So no matter how annoyed or frustrated you get, you have to calm down. You have to wear your best outfit. Mm-hmm. And then you have to come there and tell them, oh, yeah, nah, I don't have Masha. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that kind of you thing. Know? That's the idea. And then the bragado, bragado, you know, is Lamba in terms of like, well, now we're talking about it. We're basically now, I guess, we're showing off our language. We're showing off who we are we're mm-hmm. showing off no, we don't come also now so takara and then no oh yeah so now let's get down and dance we don't have my, let's mm-hmm. get down and dance it have. has <laughs> such a nice bounce so, who who's on the beat the, uh, that's t-clex t-clex okay. is from abuja he's dope he's been doing quite a lot of um, northern tracks but he that's not all he does but it's just you know and i was just happy that you know classic reached out and he was like there's this beat i think you know it's really dope mm-hmm. and um there's a producer I want to introduce you to and stuff like that. It's time for you to be doing, you know, you need to represent us. You need mm-hmm. to. So it was really dope. I, I, I'm really happy with this song. I really am. Me I, too. I, I can't wait because it's, it's for the culture. It's for the culture. I'm, you know, it's language is beautiful. I, because of, because of music and because of, obviously I'm ready about man. Um, I'm, I'm learning and I'm trying to learn. So if, I can get people that are not even Hausa and singing mm-hmm. to it. I think that's really dope. Because mm-hmm. you know it's very hard to please people else. Like, <laughs> no, but it works. You know, because I saw really that video to... that you put up of, of the guys dancing the Zanku and See, the it's thing. Crazy. And they it's just, in and the it's mix like, is so nice. And what people are doing, they're sending me more videos. I'm not even posting the videos fast enough. Mm-hmm. That's the thing. I'm, I'm so sorry if I never post your own, no vex, <laughs> but I'm getting there because, and it goes to the point of where it's like, the, the people think maybe that's the only song. And I'm like, oh, and then someone's like, ah, you haven't posted my baby. You haven't posted. So I'm like, mm-hmm. okay, I need to start focusing on Time. Oh, my goodness. And I suck at social media. I really do. Mm-hmm. So I'm getting better. <laughs> I really love it. Thank Deja. you. I'm Yay. so happy. And I can't wait to perform it Yay. live. And I I'm, I'm usually like, I'm really big on like, like Nigerian culture and yeah. like I feel like we don't talk about our culture enough we don't You're like right. it's not a thing for us as it is for other people in other parts of the world so it's quite interesting that there's the I, I like the, the language thing in it it, it just know, works you know Hausa is not just in Nigeria it cuts across it's in Ma- they're in Mali Cameroon mm-hmm. Ghana um, you know some go all the way to Senegal Guinea mm-hmm. uh, so it cuts across so it's time for me to be going around. I'm going to tour you know, and taking it out there. I, w- I was talking to someone and they were trying to like school me as Chad, to Niger. Um, even in, in the north it's like the different languages so everybody's just Hausa it's yeah. like no he's no, like this there's this, this, this hey, and this, that no it's not just Hausa I, there's a lot there's you a know lot more. I was like wow we don't it's not fair that this information is not readily it's not available fair, sometimes, like, we don't divide us plenty <laughs> like this, so we have to that's the reason why I think music is such a mm-hmm. unifying force like I'm shouting out to every person that is really pushing music and is trying to or anything that is really pushing culture and you know this just thing. this union because we're plenty in Nigeria and we just have to represent mm-hmm. <laughs> the um the 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 four songs is there is there like a, a direction is there a story or that individually different um honestly I think each each song 
really is in when we were picking them to get into the in, mm-hmm. in, uh, uh, EP yes there, there was a bit of a story in there but in terms of each song they're really individually different because I also worked with different people as well and you know the different times you go in the different mindsets you're in but I mean it starts we even ended up with more of like a excuse me even the song that feels like a breakup song still makes you not hate the fact that you broke up it's like a love loss but it's more of like okay I'm happy for you that you've gone Mm -hmm. it's just that I kind of wish we did better Mm -hmm. but I'm happy because at the end of the day she'll never die Mm -hmm. everything still we still move anyway what's 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 uh tell i like to ask this question to artists it's like my favorite thing to ask i want to like know what your what a dj studio session is is like (laughs) (laughs) what is it like what do you are you one of those people that has to have hot water and tea do you have to have candles i'm an an absolute absolute idiot that's probably why i prefer always recording in my studio okay so what this taught me which i was telling you that there were so many new things for me was i went outside of my studio okay you know because even like baby it was uh, mr oscar i call him mr oscar it's so hard for him to say oscar (laughs) but you know it's um i went outside of my studio and i'm very awkward like I'm actually naturally like an awkward mm-hmm. person. I'm just like, oh my god, I don't know, I don't know how to <laughs> sing again. <laughs> I can't sing right now. <laughs> um, I was even like, please, do you mind? Like, excuse me. <laughs> and because even they told me one time, because I used to always beg Jazzy before when I first. Because y- you have all these amazing producers, artists. You know, you have talented people around, and you're just like, can I just have one moment? So let me just check myself. myself. <laughs> let me just check myself first. Let me just check myself. So it was. It, it taught me to not be so, you know, shy to say, please, if you don't mind, you know, can I? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so instead, the first thing we're often of like, well, I won't mind. Mm-hmm. I don't want to be the one to say, please, can I have mm-hmm. you? But it's. I'm always. I like. I like lots of food in the studio. I don't say don't eat when you have, but I like lots of food. People have. Ha- having fun mm-hmm. um i do have people that sit in the studio where it's people i know most times because mm-hmm. i'm used to them like i said it's about being a creature of habit by the end of the day i've learned to work with people i don't even know mm-hmm. you know people different pe- different people mixing my voice i have some um, i've met some amazing songwriters singer songwriters i were like ah instead of doing it this way can you do it this way i think it's even dope if you do it this way if you enter i'm like okay you know what it's not so bad working with different people mm-hmm. so i've opened myself but yeah my my studio sessions are really kind of silly there's always food mm-hmm. i like food in my studio i'm always eating aoi or mm-hmm. like is, if it's in existence mm-hmm. i really do like my <laughs> studio sessions i mean not like oh to goodness. you i don't know what it does but it really <laughs> helps so when it's not the season i'm like ah crap but yeah i do like having you know, tea and honey, but it's not like I have it all the time. Mm-hmm. But it does help. Mm-hmm. It does help. Yay! <laughs> <That too>. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah, yeah, we're complete. Yeah, yeah, but but um, in terms of honestly, my studio sessions, I like to keep them fun. I really do. But uh-huh. most times, sometimes I'm by myself with the producer, mm-hmm. um, unless there's somebody else working with us, or maybe if we're like trying to trying to work with somebody else. Mm-hmm. or maybe a songwriter or someone dope that just wants to sit in and be like I just have opinions or I'm not saying anything because mm-hmm. like I like to just record what's in my head and get it out like don't be annoyed let me just record it first if it's bad let it because I yeah. never used to do that but that's what Maven actually taught me because I used to sit and try to write and make it perfect, perfect. before yeah, you record and then it's not really about that you now be shy because you don't sound stupid mm-hmm. and things like that but no I've gotten out of that uh, mm-hmm. like now if you like, if you like it's quite laugh. interesting like that that doc- um, Beyonce's documentary is one of the things that she said she says that's why artists don't like to rehearse because they don't yeah. want to mess up in front of other people no I hate I hate. Doing but that she's like, like if you don't do that you can't be better exactly but you're just like mm, that's how they just tell you that. Your voice is <laughs> cracked. It's not even that. It'll just be just different. Just but you know, I I've come to let that go completely and utterly. Like it's gone. And I told you, my children helped me that. See, after you born, you know they think anything again. Like your mind could just. Mm-hmm. You're just like, why was I so uptight? <laughs> why was I so stressed? Why was I overthinking everything? Because now it's just a whole different. But yeah, like I'm. I have no problem trying to fail to pass. Do you understand? Yeah. It's not. You guys feel like thousand million times before you're like, okay, this is it. it right. This is what I'm trying to do. So yeah. That's... And now talking about the perception oh, yeah. of music uh, from North, <laughs> I I see the placement of what you're doing. How are you? <laughs> because I'll be honest with you, I was speaking to Kim about a guy I just met, a Falazi guy, mm-hmm. and he looked at me and told me, he bro, it's a bigger market out there. I mean, I know. the the North is is huge when it comes to businesses, even music." But sometimes we stay in our confinement here and we don't 
we don't understand it. I mean, what is your direction when it comes to because now you you flip the whole script again. By the grace of God, yeah. I, 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 I hope that's what we is, did. Is that, is that is that? Are you trying to open the window for everybody to see, or is just? I don't want to see it like okay, you're finding a place where nobody's really touching on because people are like, oh, she's doing the music because you know not everybody, not a, a lot of people are popping from the north, or you're doing because you're trying to open a window to the north. No, honestly, the window has been open. I'm just trying to get people to come in. I'm trying to yeah. get them to come in. I'm trying to do features. I'm trying to get because I just I, I was telling Kemi, I said I haven't like sang in my language in a while. You know, after Yaro, it was like. You know, it was like you're testing the waters and everything. Yeah, yeah. And I, I have uh, Hausa songs that are just not out. And it was just like, um, how far now? Is it me? Am I the one that is just doubting myself? Am I the one that is not? Because even when we're picking songs, you know, it was like, okay, do you want to drop this now? Do you want to drop it later? Whatever. I know, just drop, let's just drop it. Because at the end of the day, you need to know what's out there. I mean, there's uh, the Ticklex is... Uh, I've worked with a producer from yeah, the north as yeah, well. Yeah. And they're dope. They're always here. They're working with other people. It's just not necessarily the northern sound. We have Morel. We have Classic. We have DJ Abba. We yeah. have so many people. It's just that my was like, you know what? At the end of the day, if you like abuse me, Sha, don't drop him. <laughs> wow. I've dropped it. And if you like it, please dance to it. If you don't, no, Allah, there's something else for you. But there's going to be more of it too as well. There's definitely wow. going to be more of it. because Kemi, you know Morel, right? <laughs> yeah, of course. His music is dope. Of yeah, I've done feature classic, with Morel. Yeah. You know, classic. like they're all dope. Yeah, really. and definitely you're going to hear more of them with some of the things I'm doing because they're killing it out there. They've been, they, they've been, they've done this thing way before I have. You know what I mean? And they, they, even sometimes they call me and like they help me direct things and stuff like I'm like oh, I beg. You can't even you stress know, I beg. I can't even, you know it's it's my language, it's my yeah. mother tongue. It's um something I really have been wanting to do for a while. Truthfully, whether or not it was something people touched on or anything, I just feel it's time. It's you have to. How do you combine mummy, you know, duties and uh, music? You know, uh, you do is, just do so it, many. Is it hard? It's it's hard. It's not easy. I can tell you. I don't like saying hard because so many people have done this thing before me a thousand times. Um, but it's not easy at all because your mind is always on your kids. 24 hours on your kids. If you like be recording, I want to make sure that they're okay. If you like be, but honestly, being able to set up something at home, being able to set even my husband has even helped me to even set up something in his own office. So even if I'm there, just drop something, Sha, so that no matter wow. what. So we've just That's been beautiful. trying. Mm -hmm. We've been trying teamwork and just trying That's to, good. but it's not, e That's I can good. tell you it's not easy, especially, you know, being, you're being the mom, you're the one that you can't really be gone for too long, mm -hmm. or you're all going together, you know, you see all moms doing it now, mm -hmm. either they're carrying the whole battalion, or you're making sure, like, sometimes I'll just be like, mommy, how far? <laughs> come and help. <laughs> come to Lagos. <laughs> and, 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 they, and they never say no. I mean, no, they never say no. God bless on hand. My family. Uh, and they're I've, happy to do it. Mm -hmm. yeah, they never I've, say no. And I've been so lucky to have, like, amazing ladies that, honestly, I've, you have trust issues, but, you know, you've been, they're like, you know what? Just for these two hours. And right now, my son, Kito, has started school. So between oh, now and when good. he's in school, um, mm -hmm. it's just my daughter. And she has a nap time. So ah. we've been, <laughs> but... Hey, my husband, <laughs> my husband, they sleep. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, my son, no, they sleep. My my daughter, they try, but my son, no, they sleep. Lie, ah. lie. That one, even for school, they'll say, Kiton did not nap. I'm like, Kiton no, did nap. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that, that's why you see schools now, they've made plans where they do yeah. the siesta. Because now, you don't come and stress me. Yeah. Let him do it from school first. Yeah. Yes. But yeah. now, the, 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 it, it is still a disadvantage because when they sleep, sleep there, in school, they can come they home, home and, and then both just play. Brother, they are so, awake for you. <laughs> my brother, my brother, I, I, I had to call them to as you put your hands on your bag, you <laughs> do who sleep? Are you sleep? <laughs> no, exactly what you he said, put your hands then, on then, your bag. Then, 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 when they go to bed at night, you be, see, just get on the bed, they're gone. Mm -hmm. And they wake up in the morning, giggy with see. energy. <laughs> see, see. As I said, people that have done this thing before me, then that's advice me some extra can, things. Can. See, I'm, I'm always asking, I'm like, okay, or, you know, sometimes they get sick, I'll now be like, okay, I have to cancel this. I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. Or something like that. I have to cancel. But people have been very supportive like mm -hmm. even um in radios and interviews i try my best if i see them because you can't tell it's just like hey this one by tomorrow morning i don't enter you don't catch cold from school you don't do this one. you know they come back with so many things from school mm -hmm. you're yeah. just like i have to go to the clinic so i'll now beg i'll now say rabbi even if i have to call them myself and just call sometimes we'll go i'll say i'm gonna run late we'll go to the clinic we'll come back so it's just it's just, and a lot of times, if you want to be hands-on, honestly, mm -hmm. because there are so many people willing to help, but mm -hmm. sometimes, now you yourself say, 
Yeah, I'm gonna do it myself. I'm the mom. Anybody, make I just so it's not necessarily that and my kids. I'm very happy. So far that you're always healthy. Mm-hmm. They've tried for me. Mm-hmm. They tried for me. That health, you know that. Nobody say every time, every time. Yeah, yeah, you know the hospital, try, yeah. Because it makes it a lot yeah. easier, honestly. Mm-hmm. So alhamdulillah, yeah. they really tried for me on that one. Um, but yeah, like my son now, he follows me sometimes to the studio, but only for a certain amount of hours, and then I'll take him back. Wow, um, things like that. So, yeah. It's good. But you, the, <laughs> the the rest of the um, Maven team, yeah. you're making music with them. There's yes. a new addition, Rema, yeah, Rema as Poe yeah. and stuff. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> yes. you've even been there. You've seen some people leave, and you've seen more yeah. people come. Well, you see that leaving, self. We see the we see mm-hmm. the see. So you will definitely hear some more music. I mean. One thing I love about love about Maven and still love about Maven is that that family bonding. Mm-hmm. Like regardless of no matter how far we go apart, we're always supporting one another. It's like when somebody comes back, you have something. Ah, I know if you make your shoe today, but I'll try for the next one. Do you understand? It's mm-hmm. it's a very like Ricardo. I still that's a good thing. Mm-hmm. T- um, T- just that you know as of now because everybody hand I for the day I for the Paris I for the day yeah, with the show. <laughs> yeah, like it's so it's um I mean it's it's I like it I really mm-hmm. do I like that and that's it's happening the same thing with whoever is in there. It doesn't even feel like oh it's new people. It's just like and before they were unveiled they were already there. Okay, you know, just like how we were like we were there for a while. For like almost eight months, nine months, walking, recording before they now said oh, we have new artists. Yeah, so yeah. we managed to bond around that time, you know, meet everyone. So it's dope. I mean, they're dope. I mean, yeah, that's the way it should be. I mean, it's family. It's I'm family. Family. not you guys part ways. You, you, yourself. you, go, you hey, know, these days people you parting life, ways yeah. and they cannot even have conversations anymore. I mean, yeah. it's so bad they kind of they cannot even meet at parties or events and even shake it hands. Just be awkward. I mean, yeah. I'm already awkward, so I don't like awkward situations. So I'm just like, you know what? <laughs> I think we're okay. We're okay. <laughs> Even if people want to make it awkward, I'm like, dude, I'm already an awkward person, so I'm gonna run away. <laughs> don't bring yeah, it. Don't bring, don't bring it. I, I okay, don't know. Um, okay. um, let's go. Let's go. Sure. Play, pay some bills. Then we come <laughs> back. We're gonna play Teamo. Awesome. Right, which is another of the songs. So we've played like this is you gonna be the two, third yeah. song yeah, see, you're going off, the, the, off the EP. Me. Yes, it's four tracks. That's why four so that you guys I, can get I, it's tired. Easier. I bought one of the EP. That's the one before the hat record of bags on it. Mm-hmm. Two Savage. I bought that one. I love it. I love that. That one and had some. I, I reached and I said, "Come, yes, you need you to." Did. It's good. I, I kind of dulled on some of the videos. Yeah, you dulled. Okay. You dulled. I like that. You said that. You dulled. I dulled. I go born. I go born. But she's back now. Back and better, right? So let's go. We'll be right back. Ninety six point nine Cool FM. That was Omotena by DJ, and we also played for you Te Amo by DJ. So we have played for you all of the four songs on the DJ EP. There was Baby Wuta Te Amo and Omotena. So this is like the part dia. one. <laughs> what do I say in return? <laughs> no, yo wa. <laughs> yo wa. <laughs> yo wa. All right. So this is just the the first part of it. There's gonna be um other four songs and uh, released. We're hoping. Yes. When are we looking at? Honestly. You know, we always hope for sooner than later, but the truth is, I want these ones to sink in. And there's always this idea that if you release more songs, it's as if the other ones, you know, mm-hmm. catch fire or anything. So, um, probably next quarter. Okay. Most likely next quarter. You know, the the, the fire quarter. Mm-hmm. The one where everybody wants in want it. So that they'll be ready for email, December. Email, so that <laughs> now go help me. Oh, please go and download, listen to it, know the lyrics we're about to know. Yeah, it's. um. It, it's it's honestly and i'm so grateful to you guys like radio is amazing and f- it just reaches out to almost mm-hmm. every, pretty much everyone as long as you have a radio you know mm-hmm. you don't have to have tv mm-hmm. and um i'm grateful to anyone promoting this ep promoting any of my songs because it's not easy and um the the more you do it the the bigger it gets you know like i said it's about the fans it's never really about you when we first got into it we always tried to make this thing about us mm-hmm. you know i always find that Especially artists, you can't help it. You're a creative person. Yeah, so, yeah, so that's like what you want to do. My mind, this kind of thing. I know they hear what I want to do my own. I ain't gonna humble you. <laughs> but at the end of the day, for me, it's um, I'm so grateful. I'm grateful. My fans are fantastic. Okay. Vision Nation is fantastic. Like I cannot thank them any more than mm-hmm. I am right now because even when I was not dropping music, these guys were retweeting things that God knows you what I was saying. Sometimes I'll tweet, they'll say, teacher, what's this one saying? Drop music now. What you they talk? <laughs> so they're out there, they're listening. See, then they then they tell me, ah, my fans, they they tension me. They're like my siblings. <laughs> they they tension me. So for me, is um, the more music I can release for you, 
time. Never ta, and it's about you guys. So How about your you. fashion? You're really like on this fashion P. I love it. Like whenever you drop a photo, it's like wow. <laughs> it's so dope, really. If if I haven't said that, let me say it now. I really well, like Kemi, your you know, style. You, you know, Kemi, you've been supporting me for a very uh, long time. I'm grateful. It's like, so nice. Been. Um, well, I've never looked at myself like a fashionable person, mm-hmm. honest to God. Um, but also style is the hair person, you know, style mm-hmm. is the help you put together what you already have, um, make it nice. But in terms of, for me, I just love a really nice long sleeve dope t-shirt with graphics on it and mm-hmm. sweatpants and you got me. Just let me just do my hair. Let me fix my, you know, once your hair is all messed up, you just be like, what the hell is going on? But yeah, the photos, thank I, I always thank the photographers because it's how they catch me because I'll be doing some weird stuff mm-hmm. I don't know how to pose so when they catch the right pose I'm like thank you guys you make me look good <laughs> but okay. yeah I do I, I, I do love fashion I don't think I'm that fashionable but I do love fashion and I believe fashion is what looks good on you yeah you know I don't really know how everybody else does their own but it's what looks good on you and yeah the, honestly i just i'm just myself i really am <laughs> when it comes to fashion are you guys ever gonna do anything in fashion in the industry um you know i think all these things eventually kind of fall into place um as of now um i would love to do like t-shirts like maybe like a t-shirt line okay you know, things that i actually wear and i see people asking about my mom is very fashionable see i don't mm-hmm. even know why my mom is always saying it. she said hey, it's your brother that knows how to put together you, are, you see you just, it's sweatpants <laughs> sweatpants everything <laughs> but my mom is super fashionable and she sells clothes from senegal see me promoting my mother <laughs> okay but um so a lot of times when she br- she brings me some of my pieces are from my mom mm-hmm. um and i buy them we don't okay. take things for free because we like to well she would dash me something but we do like to um it's the business patronize. anyway yeah, it's business come on um but yeah um i have there's also i don't know if you know catch me if you can can i or she's really helped me in terms of encouraging me to just she's like dude it's not like you don't know how to dress it's just that you're not you, you don't put confidence into it mm-hmm. like so now i'm more confident i know as long as i have my converse or my sneakers or something but recently i've been doing a lot of high knee high boots, knee high I, boots I love it's, them it's either i'm doing converse or knee high boots mm-hmm. or i'm doing like trainers doesn't have to be converse mm-hmm. but knee high boots because they, they you know me i like to cover cover so mm-hmm. it's even covering my legs so even mm-hmm. you want to look sexy but i still have all, all the way mm-hmm. you know and all that so, so i do love my i like that that's the look yeah. i saw that i like it's yeah. a long sleeve thing yeah. and then the knee high boots yeah. it's so dope so it's fun so <laughs> <laughs> thank you Kemi. all right well um dj's been here the ep's out please share stream support um tell your friends now about it my favorite money. is um wuta you need uh-uh, to i see how you even said you said it nicely wuta. yes uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> che, it's so dope man it's i'm gonna tweet about it now thank be like you, yo you guys you. need to get thank on that so, so figure out which one you like and just share and support um and dj is not going away <laughs> Uh, anytime soon no, you know she's gonna be on our cases yeah. and in our faces i know i'm incons- hopefully i've heard i'm inconsistent so mm-hmm. we're now gonna keep it consistent yes please <laughs> yes please for all the fans what's your social media my social media is afrodija i've kept it as a p h r o d i j a and it's on all of them okay what's your jam your of the moment what song are you feeling now that's not your own song <sighs> or the, any of the moving song because you can say see, Ramaz do maybe no <laughs> yeah, but that one see we don't hear Ram and I love it like I cannot get over do maybe but right now that hello baby is entering hello okay. baby <laughs> that's Young John yeah. and Ty. All right, so that's what we're gonna be signing out as Thank DJ you. steps Thank out you so right much. now. Okay, guys, it is still the Midday Oasis. It's Superstar Wednesday. We have had Superstar Deja in the house. Um, we have one more person stopping by. Um, and in between, it's just great music for you, right? So, hello, baby. That's Young John, Tiwa Savage, and Kiss Daniel yes, up next. Cool FM. The Midday Oasis. Let's go. With Dio to the T-U-N and Kenny Smalls. Oh,